Okay, so we have a new OS on the Raspberry Pi 5, and this one is Parrot OS. But for me, both versions I've tried don't work on a Raspberry Pi 5. I just get this flashing bar. But luckily, I've got a Pi 4. So I've plugged in my trusty Pi 4, just starting it up now. And as you can see, it's booted up, so let's log in. The password is Parrot. And this is thanks to Tom Turmchenbauer for letting me know about this. It was an operating system I wasn't aware of on the Pi 4 or Pi 5. So let's launch Firefox and see what it's all about. So this is their website and as you can see the operating system for security specialists, developers, sysadmins, network engineers and at one point it did say hackers but I don't know if it's going to say it again. It does. So if we scroll down, 600 plus tools for every kind of red and blue team operation. Designed from the ground up to be secure, built on top of Debian, which is the same as Raspberry Pi OS, so I'll be a bit familiar with that. So they've tried to make it as lightweight as possible to run on old hardware and free and open source. So just to show you how to download it, if you go to Downloads and scroll down, there is a Raspberry Pi section. And I've tried the Home Edition. The Core Edition hasn't got a desktop environment. I didn't try that. Uh, I've tried the Home Edition and the Security Edition, but both of them do the same thing on a Pi 5. And if you want to download them, just click on it, and then click on Download, but then also click on the ARM64 bit, and that will start to download, or obviously you can do it with the torrent. But this is the Security Edition. So it says, a complete out-of-the-box pen testing workstation loaded with a large variety of tools ready to use. Now, I don't really use any of those tools, um, so uh, a bit like when I do Kali. It's not something I'm into, but if you are, then you may be interested. I'll run through what it comes with. You also have more than one browser as well. So uh, under internet, you can see we've got Chromium and we've got Firefox. We've also got VNC Viewer, so remote access built in, which is now working fine with Raspberry Pi OS. So under Office, we've got Document Viewer and Make Dictionary. Education, we've got Smart Sim. Privacy, Secure File Deleter, Graphics, Eye of Mate, Sound and Video, we've got VLC installed, we've got a chess game in here. So if we do File and New Game, let's see what happens. The Black's Turn. Oh, it's a bit slow, we might come back to that. Uh, we also have pen testing, just loads of things in here. And, and again, not, not things I'm particularly familiar with. So I'll hover over a few of them. And if you want to pause the screen to see if what you want is uh, included in it, but with 600 plus tools, then uh, I'm sure most things will be there. In fact, all of these open up as well. Look. Are there any single ones? It's only launches. Oh, this does though. Gives you loads of options. In there. <laughs> Crikey. There's just so much in there. So programming, we've got Gini, DB Browser, Thony, System Tools, Gpart I'm familiar with, HTOP. Obviously some Mate things in here because this is Ubuntu Mate or Mate uh, as the desktop environment, which is a very nice desktop environment. Mate was very well supported on the Pi 4. I don't know what's going on with this chess game. How do I make them do the next move? Your opponent is not out of time. Okay, uh, it's for patient chess players. So let's go with, uh, I think Chromium always works better with Debian at the moment. Although with Wayland, which I'm not sure if this is based on, Firefox is set to become a better performer. But let's have a look, BBC Sport. And let's go with Hot UK Deals. And let's go back to that. Again, we're on a Pi 4 now and I'm used to a Pi 5. But it's loading up fine. It's doing its job, uh, as to be expected, really. Uh, yeah, it does feel slow compared to uh, a Pi 5. And I've also been using on my Pi 5 uh, an NVMe drive, so it feels lightning faster than that. This is a USB stick Samsung bar, and it's a bit faster than most SD cards, but it's not super fast. So let's launch the terminal and see if uh, we've got NeoFetch already installed. You can see we've got Mate Terminal. And NeoFetch, Parrot Security 6, Raspberry Pi 4, Kernel 6.1.0, Make Desktop Environment, MetaCity Window Manager, 
and you can see I'm running at stock 1.8 gigahertz and this is my 8 gig Pi 4. So I might revisit this when it starts working for Pi 5. Uh, I did see on the forum someone else has a, exactly the same issue where it just doesn't launch. But Mate is a really logical desktop environment and uh, yeah, just if you're used to Windows, it's very, very familiar. Synaptic Package Manager is in there. We've got Control Center. Uh, here we go, so lots of things in here. I also saw we had some customization in here as well. Yeah, look and feel, appearance. So I don't know if you can theme this as much as you can with uh, KDE Plasma, which is I, my operating system of choice. Background, there's plenty to play around with in there. Quite a few parrot themed backgrounds. So this control center, startup applications, preferred applications. Let's see, what have we got to do with uh, window snapping? Yeah, we do have window snapping, which is nice to see. So we can move it to one side or the other. We can pop it up in the corner, I guess. Yeah, and we open up the file manager and we can snap that to the side and all of that is working fine. If we snap it to the full screen, yeah, all of that's great. Does it recognize my NAS drive? Go and network. Doesn't seem to find my NAS drive straight off, which uh, PC Man does. What does it say it is? This file manager is Karja. And we've got these little uh, system monitors here, that processor. And the usage. Memory. And network. And all of this, so Bluetooth. Audio settings are here as well. Sound preferences. Yeah, it's just, just very logical, very straightforward to use. Okay, so I may revisit uh, when it comes out on Pi 5, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, as I say, it's not really my thing. It's not something that I use, although there is that version that you can use without all the hacking side and the developer side. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.